Good afternoon and welcome to New York City. Right now I'm currently in South Bronx, which was labeled the highest crime rate and the most dangerous, um, the most dangerous hood of New York City. So we're gonna get some impressions, see what it's actually like. Uh, I'm here alone, I actually live in New York now. So we're gonna walk around and explore South Bronx together. So let's go. clip I was actually saying how it does have a very dodgy sketchy vibe here um, and while I was saying that I turned the camera and I showed the street and there's three men um, I deleted the clip because they didn't want to be included in it which I respect um, so I had to delete the clip but what I was saying is it has a very um, I've been to Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia I wouldn't say it's that extreme but it definitely has a similar similar vibe to it i would guess and i'm getting talked to now by another man so it's just every street it's kind of hard to vlog in because i think a lot of people here are doing stuff that shouldn't be recorded maybe i don't know but it's not very camera friendly uh first impressions now it does have different vibe to New York City because <clears throat> excuse me it is very quiet like there's not I mean there's obviously people on the streets but this really New York is not really usually this dead there's more people on the streets there's more activity it's a very loud chaotic city there's millions and millions of people obviously on this island so that's what's kind of known for is the chaos but this part the South Bronx like I said this is just my first impressions Someone just... Yeah, that's the stuff I don't really want to film because I don't want to get, you know, into any deep trouble, but... That car definitely had some illegal tent going on. So obviously New York City is notorious for this kind of stuff but I do think it is a little dirtier than Manhattan and Brooklyn and Queens. Um, just kind of has like a more, like I said, it does feel like Kensington a little bit. I know it's probably not the best comparison, but definitely feels like that. There is really beautiful, kind of sound like a gunshot. Really beautiful graffiti though, in certain areas. Got something going on at the church. All right, over there I see a dollar fifty hot pizza. So that's what we're gonna do because I really can't find a lot of random local places, but. Let's try this dollar fifty Bronx pizza. All right, two slices of pizza and a snapple. 
smells like a fart. A big fart out here for eight dollars. Um, the minimum was three dollars to spend with a credit card, so we need to find a bench somewhere and we're gonna enjoy our freshly made pepperoni pizza here in the South Bronx. Alright, I think this is gonna be our silly little picnic area because who am I thinking there'd be a nice park within walking distance over here. So, just gotta find a way to put my GoPro down. Beautiful view. It smells great. Very clean. Alright, I really don't have a place to set on my camera, so we're gonna awkwardly do this, but South Bronx Pizza, Bronx Pizza. Surprisingly, not a lot of grease drip. Cheers. Okay. Tastes like a dollar fifty pizza. Actually, it was better than what I was expecting. I was hoping to find an outdoor place I could get some food. There's not a lot of options. All the garages are down with graffiti over them like this. There's like that one busy street right there and then the rest is just kind of pretty dead. There is a good amount of people walking around by themselves, which is, you know, a good indicator that it's not that sketchy. I'm sure when the nighttime comes around, it's a different vibe here. But during the daytime, there's a lot of people out by themselves, which is usually when I travel, I try to observe that and then I don't feel so unsafe because I usually do solo trips. I'd say I walked a good amount of South Bronx. At least when I got off on the train stop, I did my, my laps around that area. And I really didn't have anything too sketchy. So I haven't felt truly unsafe. Um, just from my experience at this time in this video, obviously, you know, the stats prove it can be a dangerous area with a lot of violence. But from what I saw, I haven't seen anything that um, is dangerous or violent in any way. Well, we survived South Bronx. I would say it is a bit dodgy, has a sketchy, sketchier vibe than the other parts of New York I've been to. Um, never felt truly unsafe. I had one interaction, but the guy was like very nice and respectful and just said he didn't want, also I don't want this music in the video. He just said he didn't want his face in the video, so I deleted the clip. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. I would say it is a bit sketchier. And also it's not very lively. Like. New York, I like New York because there's so much to do, so much to see, 
there's people out and about, there's always something happening. And here there's like one strip and then outside of that it just feels like this. Where everything's closed, there's not a lot of shops open, not a lot of markets and stuff. So probably wouldn't come back here, I don't think. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next country. Goodbye. There is a Hattenbaum, local 2, train 2, Walter Shadley's